Hello, everybody. Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. <coughs> Excuse me. In the last episode, we did some Dynamax adventures and got ourselves an Ultra Beast, including Pipe Bull that appears here once you've captured five of them. And now we're going to do through this one more time to go after one more particular Pokemon, which I've finally gotten the route to. I'm gonna go after Necrozma. Don't invite, because there's likely not many people playing nowadays. Um, yeah, let's pick up Mardo. Any dark? Ugh, there's like no easy dark. Uh, well, the, okay, there's one dark there, but outside of that, ooh, this may not be as good of a run. Which is concerning. If you don't see his. In this episode, if you don't see this run, then just consider it a failure and likely be scrapped. If it's a good enough run, I might keep it in here as like a little bonus episode, but... Hopefully, the AI that has the Vile Bloom gets rid of it at some point, because it's not going to be useful against the crows, I'm going to tell you that much. Substitute. Lord, special attack. Oh, this is probably going to hurt. Oh, yeah, I. If she survives. If this Biobloom survives this, I hope she replaces it with this dragon. Please target me or the person with the substitute. Yeah, nope. God damn it! Well, we just lost one of our chances. Oh, really? Oh, we're gonna lose all our chances on this Pokemon alone, aren't we? There we go, it's beaten. Ugh, not a great first, not a great start, I'm not gonna lie.
good. At least the AI was smart. It's like, yeah, my Pokemon's hurt. Let me replace it. Uh. I forget if Necrozma has anything that's strong. It's. Yeah, let's go this way. We can also get some items, which hopefully helps. See, slime, white lens would boost accuracy. A little life orb could be good, but I don't want to risk that. To improve my accuracy. I would have preferred if I saw, like, I think it's like the Bright Dust, which lowers the opponent's accuracy. That would have been great, greatly helpful. <laughs> the shield. What does that particular... Really, you're gonna waste your HP on this? Um, i trying to remember, what does Crafty Shield do? <laughs> I've rarely seen that move, so I don't remember what it does off the top of my head. I don't think it behaves like Protect, does it? No, because the damage got through. Is it Protect, does it protect you from statuses? From like, getting inflicted with statuses or your stats being lowered? I honestly don't remember what that's. Oh, of course you have light screen. Well, that would actually be really good against the crows, man. Of course you have light screen, so our P our Pokemon's special attacks are gonna be struggling. Dynamax. Grow nice and big. Oh, who's that going for? Oof. Thankfully, he had a substitute up. Now that I think about it, I'm surprised it's not trying to do a fairy attack on the dragon type Pokemon we have here. Yes, explode gloriously. We got Klefki. Okay. It's got play rough. Yeah, it could have done play rough on the dragon, but. Keep it at it. Good. The person with the Vile Bloom got rid of it, so. Uh, what is that Pokemon in normal? I'm having a hard time identifying it. But we'll go after the Dark Poke. Ooh, and it also gives us a scientist, so we might be able to switch our Pokemon out. The question is, do I want to, or do I want to keep our motto? Ooh, 
Ooh, you're fast. That's not a good sign. I'm probably gonna lose at least one of my chances from you. Who are I? We really do not want you using dig right now. Oh, please target one of us. Please either go after after the double or Armado, please. Who you max darkness is? Nope, you're going after the keys. Ugh. Great, so I only have two chances going into Necrozma. Absolutely fucking brilliant. If it attacked the double, or the very least me, we could have survived. And the game's like, nope. Go hang on to our motto. Okay, good. You got rid of your double. Even though substitute would be useful, you are hurt. One up the adventure. I'll pass. Why in the hell did you give us a Tangela against a Necrozma? Ah. Uh. Thankfully, I don't think Tangela is part poison, but Jesus Christ, there's a few other Pokemon you can give us. Tangela better have a really good move. Oof against it, otherwise we're in trouble. Oh, what does Automize do? Oh great, it's more speedy! Ooh, but the paralysis comes in and negates that! Cutting your speed, I believe, in half! Time to Dynamax! Let's have our motto get big one last time. And have my phone go off, because I forgot to turn off my phone's alarm. No pickers more faster. You're trying to regain the speed you lost because of paralysis, which is giving us opportunity to attack you. Let's lower your special defense so that way uh, the more Pekka's Dark Pulse will do more damage to you. Oh no, wait, you lower special attack. That's actually really good. Oh, it says most of your attacks are special attacks. I think you might only have one physical move. It is looking good, it's looking good. Power Jim, ouch! You had that. Now 
Let's lower your special attack again. Oh, it survived. So no matter what, one more round, it's going down. Ooh. The question is, can we get a hit and survive? Will that do it? Yes! Time to use to explode and get captured for all the trouble you gave me. He just trying to find you. Krozma has been caught. Now you shinies, sadly not even a Krozma, but who cares? I've got a Krozma. Send it to the box. Well done defeating that tough opponent. I hope we'll see you again soon. Now that we caught Necrozma, let's go and report it into Peony. Oi oi, Chief! Got something legendary to show me? Huh? You actually caught the Pokemon by using that mysterious clue? Let me have a look, would you? So this one's Necrozma, the prison Pokemon. Looks pretty dark in, uh, prison me? Yeah. What? It came from another world looking for light. Sounds like you just need to get more time out in the sun, Necrozma, mate. Cheat up. You'll be sparkling with energy in no time. Alright, the picture of, of prismatic health. That's that. Anyway, Chief, mind letting me see that legendary clue? <laughs> I didn't I didn't write this clue. Oh chief, but let's not uh let uh, but let's not but let's not let Ed that stop the fun. Uh excuse me, where did you find that paper exactly? P chief Peony dropped it. That's actually from my notes. I wondered how this could have happened. <laughs> I haven't got a, sl uh, a, sing a single shred of an idea. Indeed, I imagine you haven't. Anyway, I'm quite relieved that you found that paper. Not to mention that you caught Necrozma, the one responsible for the Ultra Wormhole. Please accept this with my thanks as a reward for your cooperation in my research. She will give us an ability patch. A patch that allows a Pokemon with a regular ability to have a rare ability. She also gives you a free Beast Ball. Oh, and no need to worry about the re returning the paper. I've got another copy. I gotta hand it to you, Chief. Only you could track down and catch a thing like that with just a single photo to go on. Still, I have I've got to say... It feels like we've come to an end of end of a chapter or something, doesn't it? You look ready to keep on going for a while yet, though. Go on, Chief. Can't wait to hear all about your exploits and adventures you get up up to from here on out. So with that, we've pretty much completed everything we could do in Isle of Armor, except for one thing. First off, I'm actually going to take the time to shop for another ability patch because I have the ore for it. Now to give my two ability patches to two of my Pokemon. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it's in other items in this one. So first off, let's give the ability patch to 41. 41's ability is now Sniper. 
Let's give the other one to Yoshi. Yoshi's ability is now Thick Fat. So with the change of their abilities, Yoshi now Al takes half damage from Fire and Ice type moves, which is really good. Especially for Ice moves. And 41's ability, Sniper, powers up moves if they become critical hits when attacking. So with that said, we're going to end the episode off here. In the next episode, let's have a battle with, our, with, with Peony before we leave the Crown Tundra. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos. It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.